Hello everybody and welcome to Advantage Business Systems webinar. This webinar is based on role centers and permissions. I'm Suraj Vakaria and let's begin by looking at the agenda. Okay, so these are the questions I'm going to be ask, um, answering today about the role per, uh, centers and permissions and you know why you should be using them in your business and what NAV already offers out of the box. And then the last agenda of the question is uh, when should you be applying these and tailored permissions? Okay, so let's have a look at NAV now. Um, if you have been using NAV since uh, 2009, then you should be already familiar with role centers. Uh, okay, but Let's define what role center is. Now, I'm currently logged in as an accounting manager, and that's the user profile that I'm uh, using. And what that means is everything around uh, on the top on the ribbon, the menus on the left, including the home page, that's what makes up the role center because everything around, around this, all the menus, the functions, reports, that's all based on what the accounting manager wants to be seeing. Okay, so if we compare that to a warehouse worker who would be interested in seeing uh, all the functions, the menus for that role, here. Yeah? So you can see and compare against the accounting manager role center that is quite different, and that's what the user, uh, the role center is about. It's tailored to the individual profile user. Okay. So although I'm logged in as a warehouse worker on this role center, it doesn't mean that I can't navigate around the system. I can quite easily click on departments and you know uh, bring up chart of accounts which is a finance area. Now the question is uh, should a warehouse worker have any interest in the finance information and should the business allow all users to see the finance information? So this is where permission comes in and this is where you have, uh, where you can control who sees what information, who can change it, etc. So this is why it's important that you should, in, uh, you should use permission with the role centers, yeah. So you cannot, you should see, you should start to see a picture of why you should be using the two together. So all the information that the user wants is available within the role center on the home page, and they don't have to keep navigating around. So that's the benefit of using role centers. And then the permission comes in uh, into play, which limits what the user can see to change and that's how the business can keep control of the data and keep it safe essentially. Okay, so let's see what is already uh, out of the box on the role center side. So if I just navigate to user profiles, so there is already quite a few role centers available. Um, and what you what you can do, you can select and change your user profile to one of these role centers and see which one kind of suits you. Um, if one particular does suit your needs and it's got a few missing a uh, few missing menus, then what you could do, you can just click copy and copy the user profile, and then essentially you can launch your uh, nav client into a configuration mode so you can uh, you can use that from command prompt or you can modify the shortcut and have that launched into a configuration mode okay so you can see it indicates here configuration mode and what you're able to do is if there's something you want to add uh, then you can do so. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick something random here, and I'm just gonna add a service order or 
purchase order say I'm going to add that to, to the navigation pane okay so we can see that's been added to the purchase uh, the purchase order menu has uh, been added to the home on, uh, on the role center here and it's quite easily what you can do is now if I close this and reopen nav okay so we just wait for that to open you can see the purchase order menu is now available on the home list yeah so now anyone using that particular profile will see that so this is something you can do and we encourage you to use it um, okay so the permissions if we go to what permissions are available um, so I'm just going to click on uh, search for permissions and you can see there are already permissions and user groups on this list already and if you haven't got a lot of modifications then you, you might get, uh, get away with using these permissions but if certain permissions are missing uh, what you are able to do is you can simply uh, again copy you can copy permissions Okay, so I'm just going to fix that. Uh, okay, you can call it anything you want, and once you've copied that, you're you know you, you can add extra to permission sets, uh, permission at the table object level to the permission set. Uh, now. As, as you have more and more users, uh, you might find, okay, you're, you're adding a lot of permission sets to the user. Now, what you're able to do with NAV is you have this, uh, something called user groups. And what you can do is you can create a user group and then you can bundle sets of permission sets within these uh, user groups. And then what you can do, you can assign them to users. That way, you, it cuts down a bit of admi administration time on what permission should a user get. If you, you can just bundle them up, add 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 the user uh, the user group to the user. Okay, so if we just take myself for example here, um, I've got, I've got a user group which is a full business access excluding user management. So that's a, an example of a user group. Okay, and what we can do is, uh, if I okay, so yeah, so what you can do from the permission sets, you can just add them and use them in combination with user permission sets. So you can add the user groups. To the user, and if there are certain permission sets missing, uh, you can just add them to the bottom on the user permission set uh, fast tab, and you can use both in conjunction, and that will work fine as well. Okay, um, so when so sometimes what would happen is if you have a lot of uh, if your if your if your business does have a customization and there's certain objects tables which are outside the, the standard objects um, you may find you need to create permission sets yeah and as I explained you can just you can copy but there's a clever there's a clever way what you can what you're able to do you can actually record permissions um, so if I just I might have one uh, my, so if I show you an example of how you can record, uh, what I'll do is if I create a new permission set, I'll just call it test2, okay, that's already exists, test3, okay, so I've got a few of these here, um, what I can do is I can drill into this and what we're able to do is we can actually record permissions 
Um, so just to give, but the idea is, uh, you should, first of all, you should get your steps right. Um, uh, if you start clicking elsewhere, uh, that will be recorded onto this recording of permissions. So if I'll give you an example, I can click start and then I can navigate around the system. Um, let's see if we can just try posting a journal. Okay. Um, Okay, let's see if we can post this. Okay, so let me just quickly create a new one here. Okay, so that's successfully posted. Uh, what we could do is we can just go back to the permissions recording, click stop, and there you go. So, as you can see, this is now added to the new permission set, and it's quite easy. Uh, previous version, it used to be kind of like a trial and error, but uh, there is a functionality here available in NAV where you can start recording your own permissions. So that concludes the webinar for today. Um, so we strongly recommend you using role centers and permissions um, in your business. And if you can if you get that right, if you get the permissions right from the beginning, um, then you can quite maintain it quite easily. What I have seen is where there's been a lot of the users have been set up as super users um, and they've gone live and then 12 months down the line they've wanted to implement permissions which makes it very difficult. Um, so, you know, early as possible, if you can get that right, it will be easy to maintain later. So, thank you everybody and enjoy the rest of your day.